Prime Day is over, so put down your credit cards and listen up. It's time for tech news. The heck? Remember how Microsoft said Windows 10 was gonna be the last version of Windows? So that's obviously gone out the window, no pun intended, with the release of Windows 11. And now it looks like Microsoft is straying even further away from that vision, as a report indicates that they're gonna be having a major release every three years meaning it's expected that we'll be seeing Windows 12 in 2024. But on the plus side, Redmond is also planning to push out feature updates for the existing version of Windows much more frequently, which hopefully means you won't have to deal with buggy or poorly designed features for as long. Although nothing regarding Windows 12 has been confirmed yet, Microsoft does apparently have plans to bring it to life in line with the new release timetable, which is great because I love just having to get used to a new interface over and over and over and over again. <sighs> In better news, GPU prices are still falling, and although initial reports that NVIDIA would be dropping the MSRPs of its current RTX 3000 lineup turned out not to be true, Team Green did confirm that some of its cards will be getting discounts for a limited time. Of course, with the launch of RTX 4000 series likely coming later this year, the distinction between limited time deal and reduced MSRP might be purely academic. NVIDIA looks to be clearing out some of its current high-end stock as the deal currently only applies to the RTX 3080 12 gig edition and up, with the largest savings being 500 bucks off an RTX 3090 Ti, which drops it down to a super affordable 1499, which I'm sure you all have in your couch cushions right about now. Ooh, ooh, look, money, wow. What you might actually have laying around is an old laptop, and you can now easily turn it into a Chromebook, as Google's Chrome OS Flex is now available to the general public. Chrome OS Flex is an installation tool you can put on any USB drive to install Chrome OS on any system you like. The tool does a compatibility check first, but it should be fine unless you're rocking some seriously ancient hardware. Even though this new version of Chrome OS is being marketed towards bigger organizations trying to extend the life of their fleets of older devices, it seems like it'd be useful for the average home user that just wants another machine to browse the web and make calls on, as the system requirements for Chrome OS are still quite modest. Or you could install it on your $5,000 gaming rig just to see what happens when you post about it on Reddit. I post all my OS changes on Reddit. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the interactive and visually stimulating way to learn about STEM topics, which is to say, it's way more fun than sitting through lecture number seven by professor doesn't want to be there. With Brilliant, you learn at your own pace in a low pressure environment that allows for failure. And there are over 60 courses to choose from, including their pre-algebra course, which will help you start your algebra journey with fun puzzles and problems that let you use your intuition. Cause I know it's good. It's time to further your knowledge with Brilliant today. So use the link in the description and the first 200 people will save 20% off a year of STEM learning at brilliant.org slash techlinked. On to the quick bits. The legal showdown between Elon Musk and Twitter is set to kick off in just a few days, as the two sides will have an initial hearing on July 19th in the Delaware Court of Chancery. The dispute arose when Elon tried to back out of his bid to take over the social media giant, so Twitter is now either trying to force Elon to go through with it, or pay the cost Twitter is incurring as a result of Elon breaking the contract. Oh, I'm sure he always intended to buy Twitter. Never was this a sham at all. Guaranteed, right Alex? Yeah. But you know what's not a sham? Drones, delivering stuff from Amazon and it's finally coming to its second city. The lucky winners this time are College Station, Texas. The company is going to be getting in touch with customers there to see if they're interested in getting their junk delivered via drone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And seeing as it's a smaller city with a large college population, the decision seems to make sense. Maybe soon the skies around Texas A&M will be filled with drops of maroon colored care packages. It's the school color if you don't get the joke. Valve is reportedly optimizing SteamOS to run on devices other than the Steam Deck. That sounds pretty sick. Although gaming laptops are nothing new, other companies have been trying their hand at devices that are closer to portable consoles, such as the WinMax 2 from GPD, a rather small laptop that has a gamepad built in. Although it seems a little odd for Valve to be helping hardware rivals, it makes sense when you consider they'll get the Steam Store, which means they're gonna get sweet, sweet cheddar when you overpay for all those DLCs and microtransactions and hats and crates, everything. Just, just give Valve your money. Well, it turns out 5% of new car sales in the US are now electric, which many folks consider the tipping point for broad adoptions. And it sounds like GM agrees, as they've just announced a plan to construct a nationwide fast charging network made up of 500 stations and 2,000 stalls, the first of which should be up and running early next year. The stations are planned to have amenities similar to current gas stations and travel centers, because I want no part of that unless it comes with a microwave burrito and sushi assembled last week. Mmm, yeah. 
and Wordle has come full circle in a journey from smartphone sensation to an offline party game. The New York Times, who bought Wordle earlier this year, is releasing a board game version with a word board, dry erase markets, and little green and yellow tiles to make the game version a little bit more like the digital one. The game will set you back 20 bucks and you can pre-order it now, but can you really put a price on gathering in person with your friends? Or at least people you tolerate. I mean, I don't usually tolerate Alex, but... Oh, whoa, what, what's that? This isn't sponsored. Get get that out of here. All right, all right, all right. If you like the show, guys, give it a like. If you disliked it, you know, dislike it if you want. Nobody's going to see it. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Goodbye.